They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie, always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror, never how it appear. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ice Water 815. Hey, I wanted to shoot a quick video to add to my collection that really touch on my opinion why most, let me just call them owner operators for the sake of this conversation. So whether you leasing, whether you paying a truck, no, you know, buying your truck or whether you own your truck outright. In my opinion, this is why most trucking companies fail like on let me say that when they start up and they fail, because usually when they grow to, usually if you grow to three trucks or you stay between three to five trucks, you'd be okay. But that's a whole nother video. Before I get started, though, I want to thank like three people in trucking who really like I get inspiration from, I get ideas from, and they keep me motivated to, to stay trucking. Because if it wasn't for those three individuals in trucking, I'm sure I would have been there, hung my I don't even know what you call it. My keys up, my hat up, parked, it. I sold everything because I truck to make money. Bottom line is it's all about the profit to me. I don't care that anybody know I drive a truck that I got a CDL. I don't even care about all that. All I care about is what's hitting the account. That's all I care about. And I don't get on YouTube doing a lot of complaining when things not going right. You know, if I have problems, I try to make a video so they help other people. But who I do complain to is these three individuals. So my man, L-Dog from IS Transportation, you already know, you know what I'm saying? He actually the one that got me, I had a class B license and I was working in construction and he actually got me to get my class A. And that's how I learned how to drive a semi was driving his 379 Pete. And we were pulling containers at the time out of the rail yard. Yep. Yep, yep. That's how I learned how to drive. <laughs> well, that was a 10 speed Caterpillar motor. Nice truck. I still drive it from time to time, too. Just if my truck down or something like that. So anyway, my man, L dog from IS Transportation, I got to say much, much love and respect to my man, Jesse from JL Taylor Logistics might be his trucking company name. But we done had a million and one conversations and. You, you, you didn't give me a lot of valuable information. I didn't give you a lot of valuable information. So, you know, I, I must, must respect to him. Then it's another, it's another partner that I got that, that I talked to quite a bit about trucking and he might be the most, my most inspiration whatsoever to like continue doing YouTube videos. His name B at Power Move Express. And when I met B, he actually was driving for somebody driving one of their trucks I, and I, when i first met him he was in somebody he was in an owner operated truck it it was actually a a truck worthy of further improvement is the best way that i could put it to be nice and not being disrespectful to anybody operation and i watched him watch my videos take the information that i gave him and not only did he buy one truck not only did he buy two trucks but he bought three trucks and one truck. I think he just got sitting somewhere. But anyway, long story short, I talked to these three people a lot about what's going on in trucking and they sort of keep me sane. You know what I'm saying? When I'd be like, man, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. They're like, nah, man, don't do that, man. You know, you know, so I appreciate them much love, much respect. And it's with like the information I gather from talking to them and the information that I got that I'm able to bring you guys some solid information about trucking and give you ways to be successful. So this video today, I'm going to tell you why I think most people aren't successful. And basically it comes down to one simple formula that people refuse to use when they book loads. That's, that's all it come down to. I, I'm sure I'll get some naysayers and they'll be like, yeah, well, it depends on this. It depends on that. Yeah, sure it does. But I guarantee you, if you apply this formula right here, you will be profitable. And trucking is all about profit. A lot of people think 
just because they making money that they're going to be profitable when it's all said and done. And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that in trucking because one breakdown, uh, one missed appointment, uh, one cancel low. It, it's too many factors in trucking for you to think like that. So my mindset is when I book a load, I try and act like that's the last load that that truck is going to carry. So I got to get everything. I want, you know, I said, I want to, I want the broker to feel like I robbed them when I book a load. Does it always happen that way? No, it doesn't. But this formula keeps me from booking cheap freight. And let me, let me give you the formula and then we, I'll talk some more about it and then I'll let you go. Let's take for instance, I got a load going 300 miles. When I look at that, I say, before I even call the broker, I'm going to come up with a price. Now, how I come up with the price is simple. If I'm going to go 300 miles, I need to know how much fuel it's going to cost me to go 300 miles. So I take 300 miles, I divide that by 5.5. Now, I'm using my phone. I'm using my phone right now because I'm shooting a video, but I, I got in my truck. I got this 99 cent calculator that I use and you will be surprised how much money that 99 cent calculator has made me, how much information it has given me access to. Of course, this, I don't know how much this phone, this SA, I don't know what it costs. Uh, my cousin gave it to me, so I'm not too familiar with the price of it, but uh, so I'll take the 300 miles, I'll divide that by 5.5, and I'll come up with 54 gallons. So, actually 55, because it's 54.5, so I round it up to 55 gallons. So I say, okay, 55 gallons times $3 per gallon, that's going to be $165. So I already know off top that it's going to cost me $165 to go them 300 miles. So whatever rate the person give me, I need to subtract $165 from that because that's going to be going to fuel, right? Okay, cool. So I take the 165, right? So I know that it's going to cost me $165 in fuel to run that load one way. Watch me now. Stay with me. What I like to do is I like to multiply that by two. I double that in case I got a dead head home or something. You never know. This is just the formula that I use. So that basically gives me $330, right? Stay with me here. What I'll do is I'll take that number, which is $330, and that's my fuel cost double. That's, that's double my fuel cost. I will multiply that number by 3.5 and stay with me now now when i multiply that number by 3.5 that gives me 1155 dollars that is a fair rate for 300 miles for a 53 foot trailer and Actually, if it was a reefer, it probably should be a little bit more. And if it was a flatbed, it probably should be a little bit more. But I know before I call the broker that if he come in anything under 1155, we got a problem. That 1155 is my minimum. That is the minimum that I'm going to take that load for because I know at 1155, I can make money. Well, let me take that back. I know at 11.55, I can make a profit. And let me tell you how I know this. I didn't just magically come up with 3.5 to use when I multiply double my fuel cost. The 3.5 is derived from four separate things. One is the fuel two is the driver pay three 
is the company has to get they cut right and then the fourth thing that's factored into that the the 0.5 percent that's going to be my maintenance now follow me on this one is fuel cost two is paid to the driver and three is paid to the company for that 0.5 is maintenance i guarantee you if everyone would apply this formula to their negotiations that they would remain profitable in trucking and it would keep them out of the neighborhood of hauling cheap freight i'm not i'm not gonna get on my soapbox and talk about people who haul cheap freight because when i first started my operating authority back in 2010 i was one of those people who hauled cheap freight i'm not making any excuses for hauling cheap freight but in my situation i didn't do enough research before i got out here and started booking loads that was my mistake because i thought i was getting you couldn't tell me i wasn't getting good rates i would have argued you up and down and i think i might have been getting one load i was doing i said this before in another video i was going like 120 miles i think for like 500 dollars, and then i was dead heading back home and i might even had like a 50 mile dead head before i even picked the load up to go to 120 crazy insane for some reason back then i don't remember if it's because fuel prices was cheap if it's because how consistent it was if it's because it was light i actually was making some money i i I don't remember why. I don't even recommend. That's a terrible story to even put on YouTube because people be like, oh, well, you said you made money hauling cheap freight, man. Listen, man. I didn't know I was hauling cheap freight. So forget all that. If you apply this formula that I've given you in this here video, this is probably the most important video in my understanding rates or negotiating rate, however many videos I didn't put out on this. If you remember to use, take take the miles for the trip, divided by 5.5, double that. Multiply that number by 3.5. That is the bare minimum that you should accept on that load. And let me tell you what, what using those numbers will address. It will level the playing field. And let me tell you why it'll level the playing field. You've been so patient. I appreciate your patience. I'm a firm believer that the reward needs to equal the risk. And that's why I have came up with this formula. It clearly addresses all the things that make up the risk and the reward. So remember, 5.5 miles to the gallon. Double your fuel cost. That will address a whole lot of things. Multiply that by 3.5. Now, all I ask, though, is that when you start using this formula, I can't really patent it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I can't do all that, but... When you start using this formula, you come back and you just just let me know how it worked out for you. You know, just a simple thank you. You know what I'm saying? And and to those other people who like take my ideas and make their own video, I, I'm cool with that too because I knew that was a possibility when I got on social media. So I I, I accept all those things with open arms. But I'm gonna call this formula. Ice waters. Let me see what I said. What should I call them? Hmm. Ice waters. Uh, I want to call it ice waters profit procedure. Yeah, IPP, ice waters profit procedure. If you follow that formula, guaranteed you're gonna make money in truck. Hey, look, this your boy Ice Water man. I appreciate you tuning in. Hey, remember, you ain't gonna make no money in trucking. Hold on, that ain't even how it go. It don't matter what type of truck you drive. 
as long as it'll deliver a load. But you ain't going to make no money in trucking if you can't keep that left door closed. Hey, I'll see you next video, YouTube. Y'all be safe. Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.